hi this is the bell for another youtube video and in this video i'm going to be making what i think is quite an awesome little build it's a timer that counts to ten and this was recommended to me by my, by my dad I've used all of my knowledge to create this, not watched any tutorials, but uh, I don't know what to say now. I'll just begin the tutorial. So you want a little frame like this, right? So three blocks in each each area, making a figure of eight. And then what you want to do is go two back from that and start doing it again. Because this is where the pistons are going to rest on. This is temporary though, so you don't need it for long. So, basically just do this all around until you get something that looks a little bit like this yeah so it's a bit like um, a 3D 8 that you can see through or something anyway so you want to grab your sticky piston and just run it along this like this just grabbing the edges of the block and once you've done that side, come up here and do here. Oof, I think I might have destroyed some of that. Oh yeah. Alright, so now is the time to get the setup for making all the parts activated without any other parts activated. So you want to grab a torch, actually I not, uh, extend that two out, torch, dust, and then repeaters all along here. So that activates that. Now I want to do that for all the other parts, and I might skip this. Okay, so once we've done that, you should see that all of these front middle sections are activated. Now I want to do the side. So I want to place a block like that and a block diagonally from that like that. And a torch on there. So that puts power through any block down there, which there is none, but it goes sideways from that to power this piston goes directly across to power this piston and it goes into that block and across to power that piston so you want to do the same thing again on this side and I might just skip this again because it's the same procedure Okay, so once you have that, it should look like this, uh, which is a full figure 8 extension. Yeah, I made that up. <laughs> but anyway, so you should see that all of these torches are activated. Now what we want to do is make sure that these aren't activated until the clock starts working. And I'll just get that run off.
And I'll also set the time to the whole night. Right, so now what you want to do is make your timer. So the exact, the proper timer behind it. So you want to just do three in a row like that. Two on top of them and match it up to make some sort of O. Uh, do that and that's where your button's going to go. But for the time being we're going to use a repeater. And drag that in from out here so that we can use the input elsewhere. So like this. And let's just uh, put a block up from this and I try not block like that and repeat a input into here, dust here, and a button there. All right, so that should work. Yeah, that works. So now you want to get that out from there. You're going to block up and you want a torch there and I seem to remember a setup like this I'll try now, um, not like that so this goes across like this and actually I know where I've messed up so you want dust here or even better here then dust here dust there two repeaters on four ticks and one repeater on two ticks now that each tick is worth um, one tenth of a second so if you look at this like four add four is eight and add two is the ten then you've got the ten, 10 ticks needed to be in a second. So you want to just repeat that again and use this formation. And you want two space between each of the pistons. The, no, the repeater. Repeat reels. What should we call them? Uh, so you want to just do this again. And I'll do it like that. So I will skip this because it's the same procedure all the time. It's not just like slow like the other stuff. But anyway, I will continue with this and I will see you when I get back. Right, so when you've got that, you want to link this up to a half slab circuit, sort of thing. Uh, actually, I was way having it there. Uh, so it's basically just so that we can get all the dust on top of this to get it to the next stage like without having to use a like a spiral staircase or something to get over. So you wanna add red wall there, repeater, and you wanna add fifteen on there I think. Wait no fourteen. Right, so now you wanna add dust all along here. and a torch one from the end with one wide gaps between them and then you want to just extend this one more oh. so that that is that And you want to add a repeater there, and a torch there, and a redstone clint there. So, 
unfortunately this is the end of the video but I will be having a second part to this so that we can finish this and get it linked up to that area there so what we want to do is just continue this for all of these modules shall I say? and run a line under here for each torch line so just going back right until the end and also going forward a bit actually no, we'll do that in the next video but that is the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time bye